friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 20th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, where we look at space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out looking at our sun as we do have quite a few events to talk about. Large plasma filament ejecting from the southeast region. Watch it there in the last few frames. Right there. And as well, more solar flares. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, pretty active regions there at the bottom of the screen as well. Plasma filaments dancing all around the surface. Northwest region opposite of where we just had that large plasma ejection. Amazing images here, especially the Earth to scale. Look in the last 48 hours outgoing. This is where we're going to see that large plasma ejection. Plasma filament lifting from the surface of the sun in a very strong fashion, releasing a tsunami straight across the bottom of the sun. Whap! And that's right ahead of that massive sunspot, which was reported here the last couple days here with daily events. Looking at multi-spectrum, two very active sunspot regions. And as well as CME detected taking off in the northeast region. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Looking at another light here, looking for darkened blackened regions for coronal holes and it looks like we do have an equatorial coronal hole developing right behind those sunspots having a look at Alaska 3 here showing all of the energies taking off from our sun one two three and four cmes taking off from the surface of the sun that is a coronal mass ejection and the last one coming from the southeast region was pretty massive and had some pretty dense plasma associated with it having a closer look there at it and here Lasco 2 showing a little bit of a closer look at the energies taking off from our sun wham so that is set to give us a glancing blow stay tuned Schumann resonance for today is a power of 7-10. Quick look at the telemetry. As well, amplitude of 7, quality 9.6. Solar X-ray flux remains in a heightened C range after seeing two M-class solar flares yesterday. So that's three in the last 48 hours. Solar proton flux had quite the injection there yesterday and as well the geomagnetic activity hopped up on the 19th and that was with that space weather that was expected here real-time solar wind sitting at 387 kilometers per second right now but we definitely saw a jump there yesterday up to 554 kilometers per second Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing here the most recent solar flare taking off in an outgoing fashion that was detected yesterday. And then this is today, that plasma filament ejection producing a large CME and is set to give us a glancing blow 23rd into the 24th of January. Now let's get to earthquakes as we just had a very large earthquake, 6.8 earthquake, rocking Argentina, Campo Gallo, Argentina, 6.8, 610 kilometer depth, very deep earthquake for the region and large. We have not seen something that large in South America for quite some time. Quick look here at USGS showing the earthquake, 610 kilometer depth, not a very populated region. But I wanted to show you exactly where that was. And of course, we've got some activity that is growing straight across the coastline of California, right up the San Andreas Fault. So heads up, stay aware and prepared. These minor earthquakes are building and moving towards the San Francisco Bay Area. 
We'll carry on here with the rest of the earthquakes as we started out the day with a 6.2 earthquake here. Six point two earthquake Guadalupe Point Noir at 166 kilometer depth. The Caribbean seeing minor activity through the region today. As well a 4.2 here to report. Nicaragua. Then we get to the United States and we saw a sizable 4.3 here in Wichita, California. Quick peck. As well the minor activity through Cloverdale. Other than that, most of the activity has been along the coastline. One minor earthquake here to report Hawaii 3.0, as well as the Gulf of Alaska 3.9, quieting down through Alaska. Japan saw a couple earthquakes today as well. NAMI, Japan, 69 kilometer depth, 4.5. Aftershocks through the region after that large Indonesia earthquake. So we've seen three very large earthquakes the last four days. Gadung, the Philippines, very deep earthquake there, 555. As well, that 4.4 is very deep as well, Indonesia. Normally, we have our deep earthquakes here, Tonga, and not too much to talk about today. Just the seismicity moving down into the Kermadex. Indonesia there, 4.5, 4.2 there in Hotan, China, as well as 4.7 Afghanistan, 4.6 earthquake here, Komboi. Tanzania and then up into Turkey here with a 4.2 and another 4.0 just west of there having a look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet this is not including the most recent earthquake the 6.8 in Argentina but noting all of the deep earthquakes Japan Philippines, Indonesia, and Tonga region been expecting something big. And it came with a 6.8 magnitude earthquake, Argentina. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery. The most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Santa Maria and Guatemala. As well as Senge in Ecuador. 191 active hazards here. Era in Japan, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Semeru in Indonesia, Popo in Mexico, Sabancaya in Peru, Nevadas de Ruiz in Colombia, Fuego, Guatemala, Raventador in Ecuador, and as well Stromboli there, Italy. Very notable indeed was not erupting two days ago. Quick look at satellite imagery from around the world. Big high pressure ridge moving into the East Atlantic. Going to be drying things out for Western Europe and parts of North Africa. Large system heading through Eastern United States and Canada. Going to carry on with some flurries, but nothing major. But it did drop a foot of snow along the coastline. Pretty large systems there developing through the Pacific. Quite the whippersnapper there. Overlooking the rest of the world. Lots of cloud cover through Europe today. And is set to continue as you've got three more low pressure systems heading towards you in this long range forecast. Having a look at the forecast models now brought to you by VentuSky and daily events worldwide. Tomorrow, watch for extreme weather to move into southeastern United States. Lingering snow flurries through Ontario, but strong winds and a lot of rain will be moving up the coastline here. Sunday into Monday. By Monday, Nova Scotia and the Atlantic provinces will be experiencing some extreme weather. Got a Colorado low. Developing by Monday as well, and an Alberta Clipper moving into northern Ontario. And then quite possibly merging with another system here, long range, next Wednesday. Watch for a snowy event through Ontario. And as well, a wet week ahead for the west coast, BC. Things drying out for the United States as the atmospheric rivers have jetted north. 
quick look here over South America. No major systems affecting you this week. Overlooking is South Africa and, of course, Madagascar, where we have Cheniso, Cyclone Cheniso, who has made landfall and is set to regain strength on the west coast of Madagascar. And then it just does not seem to want to make up its mind on where it's going to go, but it looks like it's going to rake down the west coast of Madagascar. Europe, we do have a low in the Mediterranean right now, bringing cloud cover and rain showers across Italy and northeastward. Another system here developing by Friday. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Indonesia. No major cyclones developing here, just daily evaporation rains. Long-range forecast could see a cyclone developing for India. Overlooking Australia and New Zealand. Still have a tropical low spinning south of New Caledonia. But other than that, you're going to be pretty dry through Australia this week. Low pressure center building in by next weekend, 28th into the 29th. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific and all of the systems that are spinning and getting ready for landfalls in Alaska and northward through the Alaskan Peninsula. It's going to be a wet week ahead for Alaska. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoy these daily updates. Thanks for watching today. And welcome all of the new family members to the channel. Appreciate you being along for this epic journey. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily too. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.